welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at the next steps in our game design unit. And um, this is where we left off yesterday. We had a character, we had some ground. If I hit Command Enter, um, this is roughly what I had here. We had a character that would move left and right with the keys on the keyboard. He could jump, all of those details here. Pretty neat. Okay. We still have a problem. We have no camera that's following the character or anything like that. We're not going to worry about that right now. But I would say that this character, you know, it's pretty boring. Uh, not a very exciting game. This takes me back to the days of maybe Marble Madness or something like that. Um, let's take a look at something different that might be a little bit more exciting for a game. Close that out. Gonna go over to a tab called Robot Mania. All right, we're taking a look at this one. I'm going to hit Command Enter. And after today's tutorial, this is what we're going to end up with. We're going to have a character that runs to the right with animation and runs to the left with animation. He jumps to the right with animation and he jumps to the left with animation. He actually slides, okay, and he slides the other way as well, okay? So we've got all those different things going on here. Of course, I still have to adjust his speed and all of that stuff, his max jump height, but um, definitely way more exciting than Marble Madness. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing is we want to go ahead and grab some assets that are going to help us out here. Um, let's go to Safari or Chrome and we're going to go to a website called Game2D.com. A great site, a lot of stuff that's pre-made on here and they have a lot of free sprite sheets that are listed. It's underneath their freebies tab if you come in here, this is the one that I grabbed, the robot free sprites. Um, you can grab any of these sprites, and they've got all the same things. For instance, let's take a look at the Temple Run character. Okay, we got the Temple Run dude here. Okay, and uh, you can see that there's idle animation, there's running animation, sliding, jumping, and there's even dying animation. Very interesting. That might come in handy later. Um, but pretty much, I click my free download, and it's going to give me a folder that's going to be called PNG, at least the first one was. Let's see what this one is called. So I go to my downloads, all right, and I've got a temple run folder. Okay? At this point I can take that folder and put that onto my desktop. So I'm going to just drag that into the background here, drop it onto my desktop. Now, a little bit of organization here because we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's minimize this get back to flash I'm gonna go back to my entitled document here and uh, let's get back to the timeline and make sure that I'm on the character layer and now I'm gonna go over to my library tab and this is where we can start organizing some stuff to help us out we know at this point that we're going to have a running right a running left jumping right jumping left sliding right sliding left animation so we're gonna start organizing that I'm gonna create some folders here and I'm going to say uh, running right. There we go. Got that one. Let's go ahead and grab those first and get them in here. So I'm going to open up my temple run folder at this point. Let's get that off to the side here. And um, now with that, I'm going to go ahead and find the running. Now there are 10 frames. Well, actually, there's only 9 frames on this one. Well, 10 including the 0 frame. So we've got 10 frames that we're going to drag in here. Once those are imported, I can now select them by shift clicking, and then I'm going to drag them into my running right folder. Okay, We'll come back to running left in a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. On next folder, let's go ahead and do a uh, create a new folder. All right, let's go sliding right. Okay and we're gonna scroll down to slide 0 through 9 highlight all of those bring them into our library and now I'm gonna highlight those one more time and drag them into my folder alright next one let's create a new folder and this is going to be jumping right boom okay now let's go up to jump and get all of these highlighted and drag those in and there we go perfect and jumping right alright now we also need to have um, running and uh, running jumping and sliding left here 
So before we do that, let's do our idling pose. This is when the character is just standing there. So we're going to go idle right. Okay. And go up to idle. 0 through 9 here. We're going to just shift click really quick here and drag that in here. And then get these. Alright. And anything else I need? I think we're okay there. Alright. So what I can do here is I can take these and let's start with the idle right one. We'll work our way down here. Take these and we're going to move them all onto the stage at once. Okay, so I'm going to bring those on here. Actually, yeah, that'll be perfect. So, um, idle right. First step then, after I get everything in here, I've got all of the PNGs from the sprite sheets. These are all of the individual poses. So if I look at this, they are picture by picture broken down of the animation. So there he is standing, there he is moving, I'm just scrolling through the idols. And then it starts again. Here he is jumping. Okay, you can see all the animations there. Here he is running. And here he is sliding. And that's how the PNGs work. You can see I'm just scrolling through them. All right, it gives you a rough idea of what's happening here. Now these are going to become movie clips. Okay? All of them are going to become movie clips. In fact, we are going to have, I think it's going to work out to be, uh, we'll have an idle right, an idle left. I think we end up with uh, seven or eight movie clips that we combine together to make this overall character. We're going to start with the right idle movie clip right now. So I'm going to take um, idle one or zero and I'm going to drag that onto my space here. And let's get back over to Flash. There we go. And there he is. Now, keep in mind while I'm doing all this, I'm doing this right on the character layer. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I can copy and paste them later if I need to onto a different layer, but I'm going to construct all of this on my character layer. So there's my idle one. Before I go any further, before I drag anything more on here, I'm going to create a symbol. Okay, And I'm going to say... Um, you know, let's even before I do do that, so that we are preemptive. Yeah, I'm gonna create a symbol, and it has to be a movie clip. Okay, and we're gonna say char, um, right. And we can even go a little bit more in depth. Char idle right. That way, it's all labeled out here. We're gonna put the registration on the bottom. It's got to be a movie clip, and we click OK. All right, now that he's a movie clip, I can actually go into his timeline and start building him. Okay, so I'm going to go in, double click on him, and now let's go ahead and move this back over so you guys can see everything that's happening here. So just to go back a little bit here, okay, I'm on scene one when I added him in. I turned him into a movie clip, and now I'm going to double click on him, and I am in the char idle right movie timeline. Okay, and you can see I've already got frame one entered in there, which is him. And now I'm going to enter in a blank frame on frame two. So I'm right clicking on that and I go insert blank keyframe. Now he disappears, but let's go ahead and bring him back because we've got to line all these up. And I click on my onion skin down here, all the way at the bottom of the timeline. And I click on that and brings him back up there so we can see what's going on. Let's grab his second animation here. Okay, so 001 to drag that on. Now one of the things that I found here is it is probably easiest to line all of this stuff up using the top of their heads. So their hats, their helmets, whatever they've got, that seems to be the easiest way to line up the everything. Okay. Now I'm going to keep doing this process here and I'm going to very tediously go through this first one because you're going to do a bunch of these on your own. So I enter in a blank frame and I go to number two drag that on, get it roughly lined up, and then using my arrows here, I can fine tune this to line that up with the one that's underneath. And there we go. Now, insert blank frame. So, blank keyframe. Okay, drag in number three. There we go. And get that roughly into position here. And then, using the arrows, insert a blank keyframe on the next frame. Drag in number four. 
And this part takes a little bit of time. It's pretty repetitive. Okay. But this is how you're going to get a very smooth animation with all of this. Okay, another blank keyframe. Drag in number five. Now, your sprite sheet, depending on what you use, may only have two or three animations, or may have more than ten. Um, whatever you have, that's what you're going to keep creating keyframes for here. This one happens to be ten. So we're going to drag in number six. And get it into kind of a rhythm doing this after a while. And the next blank keyframe. Let's get number seven in there. keyframe and let's go ahead and drag an eight. Alright, and now I believe we have our last one. Is there a blank keyframe and this is gonna be number nine. There we go. All right, so I've got all of those animations in there. Let's turn off our onion skin and take a look at it. So I can grab the playhead here, and I can kind of see how he's animating. Not too bad. So he's just kind of idle in there. Now, there are a couple here that seem a little out of place, and this is where you would make your adjustments here. So, like, from 1 to 2 here, okay, his feet are moving up a little bit there on that one. You can click on that, move them down a bit. So now he's all lined up there. Now on this frame... When I get to five, I go ahead and click on that. Looks like he's moving up a little bit. Okay. Right there, he's moving up. But I'm watching his feet because as an idling pose, his feet really shouldn't move at all. Okay. And I get those all nailed down here. Now, after you've made all those little adjustments, I'm going to call it good for now because um, of time. Um, this movie clip is done. So his idle right movie clip is done. That means that I'm going to go back to scene one here. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to do something that's going to save me a whole lot of work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close up this folder over my library. And then where it says char idle right, which is my symbol, which is this guy right here, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. And I am going to duplicate it. Now when I duplicate it, I have the option of actually changing the name. This is really important because this is going to become char idle left. And it's got to be a movie clip, and I click OK. Now on the duplicated one, which is over here, it's not on my frame yet. I'm going to go ahead and drag a copy of that in here. Okay, and we're just going to put him off to the other side here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to horizontally flip this guy. I needed the different names for the symbols because there is code that goes on him later that interacts with the symbol name here. So I'm going to go to modify and transform and then I'm just going to flip him horizontally. Boom. Now if I take a look at him, if I double click on him, all of his frames are changed and he's idling left now. And that works out perfect. Now this same exact process I mean identical process, is going to happen with the running right, the running left, the jumping right, jumping left, sliding right, and sliding left. So at the end of this, you're going to have six different movie clips that are going to be in play here. Okay, so you got an idle right, and actually you're going to have more than that. you got two, four, six, you're going to have eight of them all together. Good math, Mr. All. Okay, um, so you'll have eight movie clips. Let's repeat the process by going into the jumping right, just to get you started, and then I'm going to cut you loose to do your own here. Um, and then you're going to come back for the second part, um, which will give you the combination of all of these things, um, all these movie clips, and it'll help you put them all together. Okay. So if I were going to start, let's say, the, uh, the running right one, that's a fun one. Let's go ahead and begin that. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I drag out running, zero, zero. And I'm just going to scroll over here. We're going to work over on this side with him. Okay. Keep this all nice and neat and organized. Now, the first step is I get that first picture in there. Now I'm going to turn him into a symbol. Make sure he's a movie clip. 
Okay, drag this over. Use a movie clip. And we're gonna call this char run right. Okay, registration is on the bottom and click OK. Now that he's a movie clip, I double click on him. I'm in scene one, keep in mind. We always go back to scene one to add these new uh, these new movie clips on. Now I'm gonna double click on him and that takes me into char run right movie timeline. Now we just start repeating the process. I grab uh, insert my next blank keyframe and now I'm gonna add on the second frame here. Boom. Okay. And we can see everything that's going on here by putting on our onion skin. Okay, and then I just start stacking these up, ten more Im or eight, eight more images to go, get those all done, and then I go back to scene one, and I've got my movie clip all put together for that. Um, remember to duplicate your symbol when you're done, rename it so that it is char run left, okay, and then flip it horizontally. Okay, and you just keep repeating this process for each of the animations. So when you're done, you'll have, once again, eight movie clips. And uh, that'll get you right up to the point where we put them all together. All right, well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.